The light snow continues to fall in the Billings area this afternoon. Hi, everyone. Bob McGuire here in the Q2 Weather Center. Nice thing about this snow this afternoon, you'll notice it's not sticking to the streets. It was a little earlier, but now the streets have warmed up just enough thanks to the traffic that the stuff is melting as soon as it hits the asphalt. Now, our temperature's cold enough for snow. We're at 27 degrees here at 2 o'clock in the afternoon with a northeast wind at 7 miles per hour. It gives you a wind chill factor that feels like 19 degrees. Around the rest of the state, it's really warm out in the west. Look at Kalispell and Missoula. Tim's there mostly into the 40s, but east of Divide, everybody's basically into the teens and 20s until you get to Miles City in Sheridan. They're into the 30s at this hour. So the Doppler radar shows you the story. You can see the scattered snow showers. They pulled away out of the southwest, heading through Billings on their way towards Miles City in the northeast corner of the state. Looks like we have a little bit more snow showers to come our way. It's all part of an upper level low pressure cell that's pulling moisture from the Pacific Ocean, streaming it up into the central Rockies, and then the jet stream takes it right on up to Montana, Idaho, and parts of Montana. So as you'll see here, our high resolution forecast model shows those scattered snow showers will stick around throughout most of the afternoon, and then eventually later tonight, they'll continue to push their way in towards the Miles City area. By Thursday morning, a fresh batch of snow starts to move into the region, sticking around through most of the morning and some of the afternoon. But then by the time Friday gets here, that stuff is out of here. It'll just be cold in the morning. But by Friday afternoon, we actually start to warm back up and get ready for a nice weekend. Snowfall amounts expected to be light across almost all of Montana and nothing expected out in the western part of the state. And temperatures will be 27 degrees next hour, 30 degrees at 6.30 p.m. tonight, back down into the 20s in the morning, and 24 degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll actually top out at 31 on Thursday, work up to 51 on Saturday, and then continue to stay into the 50s on Monday and Tuesday of next week. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.